Hey guys, Andy Burton here. Hey, this video is going out to all my uh, home buyers that are shopping for homes right now. I wanted to let you know about what goes on in the winter in real estate. First of all, we as mortgage people, we don't hibernate. My team does not hibernate. We are working, right? So if you have any questions or you're looking at houses, uh, give me a call and let me know. So I wanted to share with you a couple of market statistics that happen in the wintertime that most people aren't aware of. The difference between July in January in closings, 67% less closings in January than July. That's huge. Average sale price goes down about $24,000 uh, in January versus July too. That's a really big deal. Uh, now keep in mind, all of these statistics are from the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. I'm posting a link in this video below so you can follow the link and look at the numbers that I'm looking at. Uh, as of their November 2015 update. So also something you want to think about. Inventory goes down 27%, but closings goes way down 67%. So what does that mean for you? Buying opportunity. Another interesting statistic that I saw too is the average seller actually gets 4% less from their original list price to the sale price in January or February versus middle of summer in July. So what does that mean? You're going to pay the most in the middle of the summer. You're going to pay the least statistically uh, in January or February. So if you're looking for a buying opportunity right now might be a great time. I know it's not perfect because it's cold. Fortunately, it's not snowing. Uh, but think about that. If you're interested in still shopping for houses or you haven't looked recently, get back out and look again. Because the inventory isn't that much lower in the wintertime than the summertime. But there is literally two-thirds as many people or buyers out shopping right now. So if you have any questions, give my office a call. It's Andy Burton with Waterstone Mortgage. We will run numbers for you and uh, we'll help you out in any way we can. So hopefully you're having a great week. Talk to you soon.